Hi everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to another installment of Being a Being. Since it's Wednesday, uh, I'm going to do something a little different, a little lighthearted, a little weird. Um, I'm going to share some poetry with you all that I've written. Um, it's a big part of me. It was my major in college. And um, I do really like to write. I haven't written in a while. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but um, I am having the itch again. Maybe this will help me get there again. But regardless, let me know what you think. Uh, if you think uh, you want to hear more stuff like this, let me know. If you uh, want me to just go back to talking about other aspects of life, let me know that too. But I, I really consider this a part of my being a being, so I thought it would be fun to share. Um, some of these are really fun. Some are deep. Some are kind of sad. Um, again, these are written in the past, and uh, they're not all necessarily self-reflective. So there's nothing to worry about here if they do get a little dark at times. I just want to share the variety of writing that I've done. So that being said, let me just go right into it. This first poem is called One Way to Look at It. Edible undies and push-up bras. Penis pasta. I swear I saw it at Spencer's. Now that's a kicker. Motion lotion and astroglide? Makes me feel more like an astronaut. Big pecker condoms, little pecker condoms, one size fits all, yeah right. Cherry condoms, oral sex only, that's no fun really, I could have sworn it was bubble gum. It's not the size that matters, I bet if it's only three it does. Which hole where? You want me to do what? Gymnastics 401 is more like it. On monkey bars or in a handstand? So many possibilities. But oh... Not enough time. Quickies in broom closets. Teenagers with a clue. Backseat rendezvous on prom night. Late night one night stands on lake shores. Spank it, slap it, boot scoop boogie. Big wood down there. Down where? Man in the boat, doggy style, five knuckle shuffle. We make it sound like a party game. Five minutes you lose and ten or more you win. Coconuts and hot dogs, mangoes and peaches. Somebody must have been really hungry after the big it. I don't know where else it could have come from. And what about this G-spot? Let me tell you, there's no X to mark it. It's more like science than instinct. Get real, people. Obviously, sex is the bomb. So go long for the past and see what happens. He scored how many points? Come on, people, think. Some things you never want to hear. Is it supposed to bend that way? Uh-oh, and oh crap. Isn't it supposed to catch that? Was I supposed to put this on first? Two minutes is normal, right? I could go on forever, but I'm sure you've heard enough. You can never have enough, right? So that was one way to look at it. And just you know, being, being fun with looking at human sexuality. So I really enjoy that one. Uh, it's one of my favorites I've written, so I hope you enjoyed it. This one's called... Hyper. Uh, and let me just tell you a little bit about the way I wrote this poem. Um, I, I'm really into freeform poetry. And um, this one is just like two, three, four words on each line. And like one line is one phrase, but it, the next line starts from the last word of the previous phrase. So um, it's that's kind of where it, it draws its inspiration from. So hopefully you can help follow it and I'll read it trying to break down the line break so it makes more sense so nicotine buzzing fly somewhere overhead a plane the wood knows i'm hyper for you and i can't sit still keeps on turning to face you are the one more time please and thank you for everything matters right away sir can i help you don't know it it's just a two-letter word up girls are the best one wins now tell me and you together we can make it does matter though i thought you should know and that's called hyper this next one's um 
a poem I wrote about pool. Uh, it's one of my passions in life and something I really enjoy doing, so I thought I'd combine two passions in one. It's called Should Have Played It Safe. Chalk and snap. I break the rack. Scatter here and rattle there. Not a thing will fall. God damn it, not even one ball. Fifteen at hand. Seven for me and seven more for him. Finally, just a lonely eight. His shot now. One ball drops and then another. Followed by a third. Oh, please, oh, please, just one chance. Rolling, rolling, dribble, stops, hanging. Yes, oh, yes, there's the miss. I seize my chance, dropping one after another. I'm on the eight. Let's put this away. Close my eyes and focus. Opened eyes and breathe. Concentrate now. Pull back. Release. It's going. It's going to make it. Catches the tip and hangs like a jumper up on a ledge. I curse and mutter, utter words more severe than I've ever heard. His next three are easy. I've got no chance in hell. They fall faster than rain, and it's down to him and that lonely hanging eight. But wait, the cue's stuck to the rail. Of all the things, this may be my break. I watch him take his aim. You can just tell that he's played this game. There goes the cue, the eight like a deer in a sniper's sight. Falls like easy money. The cue teases the pocket, faking a scratch. Just enough so my heart skips and stops. Son of a bitch ball, I should have played it safe. This next one's another fun one where I broke up the lines and um, had a little fun with the words I was using into the number of words in the line. So it's called one to one. One word spilling over by three into four and on to five slowly building up to six and dwindling back on down to five never looking back straight on through four and beyond three back into one. This next one's um, rejections in terms of me, I and you. Um, I just, I like to play with the, the I and the I and your I seeing my I. So that's kind of where this came from. It's a short little one. Um, I actually want to write this out further and expand on it, but here's just a little taste of it. It's called Rejections in Terms of Me, I, and You. Rejection in Terms of You and Me and I. Simply a denial of the I from you because my eye and me don't get along with your eye. Your eye and my eye can't get together. So no you and me, because our eyes never get along. This next one, um, it's a little, it was a little, it's a bittersweet one. Um, it's called The Longest Short Ride of My Life. I went out to drive, but I didn't get far. I just sat there crying in my car. It didn't matter where I would go. The radio blared every song we know. It feels like I'm walking on a crutch. In all my life, I've never hurt this much. I don't know how I've been so strong when something inside still feels wrong. It takes so much to wake up each day. I don't know if I can go on this way. In every face, I still see your eyes. There has to be a way to compromise. Sometimes I want to get on my knees Look you in the eyes and say, please, come back home, come back to me. But I can't because you need to be free. So for now, I'm happy with what I get. I hope you know I'll never forget. As the days slowly pass by, time begins to seem to fly. Every day I raise my head a little more high. At least now I can face it with a smile. This one's called A Drive-By Life. And this was just me having a little more fun with the, um, the idea that life's like driving and um, just how quick it passes. So it's called A Drive-By Life. Foot to the floor, pedal pulses, thoughts surging, life passing me by. Questions unanswered, never enough time. 
Never enough life. I pass my exit. Always missing the chances. 80 plus and flying by. Don't want to slow. So much I don't know. Fish tailing at 100. Too fast to care. Life's too short to stop. For friends. For family. For life. For love. For it all. So I shift into frustration as life passes me by. And it's all I can do not to die. Okay. And this last one's um, one I wrote. It's called It's Over. And um, it's a quick little poem. Just it was about it was a time when I was feeling a little defeated. And um, it's just my way of healing through it. Man, you know, obviously I'm good now and everything. But, you know, when you're when you're 19 and some things happen and you think it's the end of the world, just kind of how you feel. So, um, again, it's called It's Over. So here we go. It's over. I can't believe it's over. I stare. It's over. I realize now. It's over. I cried. It's over. I tried. It's over. I was. It's over. I am. It's over. I will be. It's over. I will live on. It's over. I think. It's over. I changed. It's over. I wasn't. It's over. I'm not. It's over. I will never be myself again. So, those are a few of my poems. Um, I have literally hundreds more. Um, I'm going to try to share more of them if people like them. Um, please, you know, if you like this, comment, hit that like button, click on the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any poems you want to share with me, I'd love to read them. I still love reading poetry, and, you know, I'm trying to get the itch to write again. So uh, hopefully we can find that shared experience together. Uh, that's it for now. Keep being awesome beings. Take care, friends. Bye.